Well, hey guys, we're going to get the Optimus torch out. We're going to fuel it up and prime it, let it sit there and uh, preheat. And then we're going to try and fire it up. And uh, probably as a little extra bonus, we'll probably put the, the Clayton Lambert torch up there in a little bit. And we'll fire it up just to kind of compare the two. The kerosene does not get quite as hot as the gasoline. This is still kind of a reddish yellow flame. This can get up to a blue flame. So for probably big jobs, this would be what you'd want. For smaller jobs, this is what you want. And uh, I'll probably sweat a piece of copper together to kind of show you with this one. I'll take the filler cap off. I'm using that, uh, I believe it's K1 or 1K kerosene. Some of the guys that I had kind of asked questions, you know, what's the difference between a paraffin fuel and uh, all the other different fuels. And uh, they said that the kerosene would work in this. It probably just wouldn't get quite as hot. Might smoke a little compared to the other but uh, they would both be compatible. Clean up any spillage. What I had done here, I had an extra cap that came off one of these cans. When I flip this lid off, I'm gonna push this other on there because I took a hole punch, punched a hole in it and made a little spout so I could get it in that little recessed area without making too big of a mess. So that went on right easy. get any other flammables off the table. All right, I've got my bleed screw open on the tank. I have now lit the alcohol and I'm gonna let it sit there and burn for a little while. Uh, it will heat the top of that tank and it's gonna end up kind of creating a a vacuum on it that'll vaporize that fuel up the tube. I'll let it burn a little while and we'll come back. I'm turning you back on because uh, I'm starting to hear a little sizzle. going to do is I think we're going to try and solder some joints.
just like we would do any other if we were using a regular torch. You can see it gets it pretty hot pretty quick, starts bubbling. See right there, it did a nice solder joint right there. It sweated all the way around the fitting. So uh, you could use one of these torches today. Kind of have to get the hang of it. But uh, it'd still be usable. You know, I don't know why, but I just decided I might have to get the other one out here and we have to get it going too. So we'll see how this works. see the difference between the two flames. The one on kerosene is just burning kind of red hot or maybe just a little more than red hot. Uh, but the one with gasoline, if you need something that gets hot, that one, yes, it will get hot. I'm not sure if you can hear it on this kerosene one, but I'm going to bleed the pressure off the tank and that should make the torch go out. But that worked pretty good. I bet if I wanted to, it'd fire right back up again. Kind of messed up my polish job a little bit, but that's pretty neat. Got two pretty good torches here, and uh, nice little solder joint. So right here we got two different torches. The uh, smaller torch on uh, kerosene, it is the Optimus uh, torch, and then uh, the larger one, uh, it is the Clayton Lambert. Uh, use, both use two different fuels, but uh, still serve the same purpose. Well, I will have to say that was exciting once again. Nothing like a good fire to get the blood rolling. Uh, the little uh, Optimus uh, torch, it did really well. Uh, it, it heats up a little quicker and uh, you will be able to use it working quicker and it sweat that piece of copper really, really easy, did a good job. You kind of have to get used to it, get on it, off it, on it, off it, you know. And, uh, but uh, if you want a light show, that Clayton Lambert, that's, that's the one for the light show. It'll shoot that raw gas out there and it'll, it'll make you kind of step back a little bit. But anyway, fun time's over right now. Time to go in, maybe get a little something to eat. So anyway, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.